Hey there Scorpio, welcome to your reading. So today we're going to talk about love. We're going to see a relationship that you're currently dealing with and keep in mind that the roles could be reversed. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. This is a general reading. So if it doesn't resonate at all, that's totally fine. Maybe check out your other placements or any title that calls to you. And if you're interested in a private reading, don't forget to check the link down below. If this reading resonates, don't forget to smash that like button. Do subscribe if you haven't already. Um, anything you can do to support the channel, it does really help. And you can also follow me on Instagram, okay? And today we have an extended. So, with no further ado, let's get started. Let's pull some shells. Huh. This actually does make uh, sense because I was hearing I'm tired. And I almost feel like you were uh, too generous. <laughs> and when I say that, I feel like you give a lot to relationships. I feel like you overgive. I feel like you are, you could even be a little bit like a people pleasing, um, people pleaser. But I feel like your way of showing love is by helping, by being, by supporting, by just giving. And sometimes that is not reciprocated. Sometimes you don't receive any of that back. And that is super draining. And I feel like that probably caused a really difficult time for you in regards to maybe this specific relationship or to a relationship from the past. And I feel like you have been hurting and you have been feeling, trying to deal with the, the mess, trying to deal with the consequences of that. And I feel like you have been working on this on this people pleasing thing and you have been working on yourself and on like creating boundaries and everything i almost feel like moving forward you may actually get a relationship that's there to test you not necessarily that it's not going to end or not necessarily that it's not going to work that it's not for you or something like that but i feel like the main purpose of this person especially in the beginning is to test you to see if you truly have ended the cycles and the patterns if you truly are connected with yourself. So maybe you're already dealing with someone new and that's what they are here for. Okay, so let's see here some romance angels to try and get more information, try and see where we go with this. Ooh. All right, so let's see here. Ooh, reconciliation. Okay. So apparently it's not a new person. Apparently it is someone um, from the past coming back. And I feel like now you have to have those boundaries more in tune with yourself than ever. Okay. We do have engagement here and soulmate. So I definitely feel like this could be lasting. This could actually be something good for you and something that uh, wouldn't hurt you anymore. Because I feel like in the past it did. I feel like in the past this person didn't give you what you needed, didn't give you what was right for you and I feel like now they are changing things up and the separation I feel like was very beneficial for both of you because I feel like they've grown I feel like you've grown and now this re reconciliation is ready to actually happen and in a more balanced and stable way but let's pull here some oracle and see what shows up for you some oracle some tarot let's see I feel like in the past it was very toxic. I do have to be honest. But yeah, overall energy, page of cups. There's an apology coming in. I feel like this person has been manifesting you with this magician. And honestly, I kind of feel like you have been manifesting this by you being in the Semper energy. This is who I feel like you're turning into, if you're not already. Um, but I feel like you're starting to tap into this Empress energy. And because of it, you're actually manifesting this soulmate. You're manifesting this new chapter in love where you are worthy and you feel worthy people appreciate you where you are respected and you don't give too much you give just enough and little by little you are getting to this beautiful commitment and you're getting to this lasting relationship and i feel like you are manifesting that i feel like this reconciliation could actually be it okay let's see here <laughs> six of pentacles in the past clearly not uh, things not balanced at all and there was a very lack of give and take queen of pentacles 
Very straightforward. Self-care, you taking care of yourself during the separation, King of Cups. Now I feel like you're both emotionally mature and you're ready to give the connection what it actually deserves. Because I feel like it wasn't a matter of lack of love. I honestly don't feel that it was. I feel like it was a matter of maybe immaturity. And when I say maturity, it doesn't have to be like immaturity in the sense that, that we know, but emotional immaturity. Not being able to express your emotions or them not being able to express their emotions. But not being able to be there a hundred percent, not knowing how to react in a you know relationship, how to act, how to deal with a relationship, and now I feel like you have been doing the work and you're getting ready to give each other the love that you deserve. So that's beautiful. I kind of feel like your walls may be a bit up because with this Queen of Pentacles, she's looking away from the King of Cups. Kind of feel like you may be a bit. Um, not concerned, but it's suspicious. You know, it's like, oh, I'm not sure. The pasta didn't work out, so how do we know? And I feel like you have to go and try it. Let's see. Three of Wands. And I'm not saying for you to put your walls down. I actually feel like they, that is part of the lesson and that is going to be very beneficial, okay? But Three of Wands... Uh, nine of cups, two of pentacles. Yeah, for this person's side, five of cups, justice, Libra energy here. And we also have cancer, strong cancer here, cancer and Pisces. Okay, uh, you could be dealing with any of those signs. You don't have to, but that is, those are the signs that we're going to take a look at in the extended. But I really feel like this person, let's start here. This person has a lot of regrets, okay? I feel like they really feel bad on how they treated you. I feel like they really feel bad on how things ended, how things went, and it's it's like now they see all the toxic behaviors they had. Now they see all the wrong they did. Now they see everything. And I feel like they want to make things right. They want to balance stuff with this justice energy. They want to, to bring this connection back into a place of stability that I feel like it never really was, but they want to create that now. And with the moon here, this person has a lot, a lot of deep feelings for you. I don't think that they are expressing them, quite honestly. I feel like they are holding that in, um, almost with a fear of rejection, I believe, of like, I did you wrong, so how on earth would you forgive me for that, you know? So I even feel like they are afraid of reaching out to you on how you may react. And for you, I kind of feel like you just want to be free. I kind of feel like you want to be in your own lane. Not necessarily that you don't think about this person, because with the Nine of Cups, I kind of feel like you see them as a wish fulfillment. But I feel like you're more important now. Something that in the past, I feel like that never really happened. I feel like you were always there for others, and you were always there for this person, but never for yourself. And now I feel like it's the other way around. Now I feel like you're manifesting something different. In the sense of how you live life and how you deal with relationships. And it doesn't mean that you have to be alone. It doesn't mean that you have to be single. It doesn't mean that no one is going to show up for you. Because I feel like you already have someone showing up for you. I feel like you already have um, all that you need. To have a happy, stable relationship with another human being. And I feel like you're just going a little bit back and forth in your decision because of all that happened and because of the self-care and you i feel like you don't want to get hurt again right i i think no one wants that but um i feel like because of it you may be blocking stuff a little bit okay but let's clarify here some stuff let's try and get some more information tell me more about the king of cups here in the immediate future Three of Swords, Ten of Wands, I like that, Eight of Wands, yeah. So I kind of feel like there's some sort of communication here about the past. And um, this person's purpose on showing up again may actually just be talking about the past, okay? That is something to take in consideration. In the extended, we are going to take a look at um, their feelings and potential outcome in the connection. But I do feel like you have the opportunity here to heal the past move forward and start a new chapter. 
with whoever you want. If you want new love, go for a new love. If you actually want to try this reconciliation, I do feel like for most of you, this could go very far. I have to be honest. And I feel like in the immediate future, you have the opportunity here to close the chapter and move in a more easygoing way. It could even happen like within um, a few days. Because especially with the skin cups here, that's cancer season. So I, I definitely feel like you could be receiving some sort of communication here. Or I, I do feel like this is this person could be the one starting the talk. Um, especially with the page of cups, I feel like there's an apology coming. But I definitely feel like there's going to be a lot of back and forth to try and put a, a full point here in this story. In this past energy. Let's see here the... Let's see the justice card. Ten of cups. Wow. Knight of wands. Queen of cups. Goodness. Yeah. Ace of wands. This person does want a new beginning here. They do want to heal stuff. And they want to move things forward. I do feel like there's a lot of passion. But it's not the passion that... Um, like that's not the intention. That's not all they want. This is what they want. Ten of Cups and Queen of Wands. I really feel like you move with them. I feel like you, you do stuff to them. But um, they, they just have like a huge amount of love for you. And you do want to balance things out so you can have the Ten of Cups together. So you can have the happily ever after and, you, you know, build a really solid relationship. I really feel like they, they are super invested in this. It may not look that way with the moon, but they are. I really feel like they are. And again, they do really regret what happened in the past. Let's see here the Two of Pentacles. On your side. World. King of Swords. Yeah, look at you. Four of Cups. I feel like you're not taking any BS. I feel like you're being very selective of your energy, of who you give your energy to. And so for this person to actually have a, a chance, I feel like they need to work their ass off. I feel like that's where you're coming from. And honestly, I kind of like that attitude. kind of like that vibe, especially because in the past, I feel like you were very um, submissive, perhaps. I feel like you weren't in control. I feel like you would let your emotions guide you and things could go off track from time to time. Now, I feel like you're truly having control of the situation and over yourself. And I feel like you're not just taking anything. I feel like, again, you're being really selective and you're seeing things as they are. If you see any type of toxicity in them, I feel like you're like, okay, bye. You know, closing the door straight away. I feel like you're being very mature and very grown up. And that's a pretty good thing. So I feel like this is the energy to have with a bit of openness. Because part of you, again, part of you may be totally ignoring this. 100%. Turning your back 100%. And I kind of feel like maybe that's not the way to go, you know? Just be open to see what this person says, says and how what they do how to react because i actually feel like you may be surprised okay so let's pull here some messages from this person what would this person like to tell you Ooh. okay i want to check in a second chance clearly okay so we have oh goodness come here we have lust there's someone else. I want more of you in my life. It's the sex that keeps me in. Maybe one day you'll forgive me. And I'm nervous around you. I'm kind of feeling like one more though. Is there anything else for Scorpio? This is too many. Can we get one more? Okay. Ah, love. Yeah. So I really feel like they are still trying to work on commitment things. But... Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment, right? Uh, I feel like this person is done being in the confusion. Done being in the, oh, I'm not sure. Here's a little bit just to keep you hook, hooked. And I feel like they are done with that. I almost feel like their way of showing interest or love is through sex. Okay, it's through physical touch and everything. I feel like that's the way they've always learned how to love. 
and they never really knew that there was other there were other layers. I feel like they never really knew that love was more than just sex. And I kind of feel like through the separation, this person could have been with someone else. Honestly, I don't think that that is an issue anymore. Um, I also feel like there's something here around friends. Not necessarily that their friends don't like you, but I feel like they are not 100% supportive of this thing. I feel like they may be a bit, like, be careful, you know, take one step at a time, I actually want to do this, you know, I feel like there could be some people here trying to get into their head, and I really feel like this person wants to be with you, but I feel like they are all, at the same time, again, very conscious about themselves, and that, you know, they screwed up. You may not want them back. And I feel like they are aware of that. Hang in time change is coming. Embrace it. Let's pull some final messages and advice from the universe to you. So again, in the extended, we are going to take a look at Libra, Cancer, and Pisces. If you're dealing with any of those, we're going to take a look at feelings and feelings and intentions and potential outcome in some timing, okay? Ask for help. Maybe it's your friends that don't really like this person or the situation here. Gift yourself. Follow your heart and your intuition. That's very Scorpio. Can we get one more? Oh, goodness. Okay. We also have free like a bird. Yeah. I feel like you need to take a step back. Take, take a step back. Relax in the pizza. I feel like you need to take a step back and focus on your emotions. What do you feel? What do you want? How do you want to move this relationship forward? Or how do you don't want to move this relationship forward? You know, I feel like you need to figure that out. And I feel like the answers are going to come from your heart, from your intuition. Ask yourself what is best for you. Give this person, I, feel, I really feel like you should give this person a chance to at least talk. Because I also feel like even if you don't want any of this, that would be very closing for you. I feel like it would get closure and very healing for you. And I feel like there could be something that they say that won't necessarily bring you back, but that would be, bring you that feeling of, ah, okay, now I can fully move on towards someone new. You know, I feel like this is going to be 100% up to you, up to what is best for you, but also up to your heart. Don't avoid emotions. They are there. And I really feel like you need to consider them and be open to anything that happens here. Okay? So Scorpio, this is what I have for you. I hope it resonated. I hope it helped. If it did, don't forget to smash like button for me to subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, again, we're going to go into the extended. The link is going to be down below. Has well for private ratings. And that is it. So with that being said, hopefully I will see you in the next one. And yeah.